cool temperatures have moved in early this season in North Idaho, which has taken a toll on the garden, but we're going to harvest and see what we can salvage out of it. Ashley's mother and brother were just visiting from out of town, and we were just showing them a couple days ago how jamming our garden has been and how we were harvesting so much out of it for lunch every day. Then we got an unexpected frost. It dipped down to just below freezing and it has pretty much taken out our squash garden here. Our summer squash plants served us really well this year. I harvested out of this garden just about every day, getting our produce for lunch. It was really nice. But I really thought we'd have a few more weeks before we get our first frost. So this is a bit of a surprise. The real sad thing is the butternut squash. We had a lot of squash. Uh, we had a lot of butternut grow to this size. And it was doing well, it was well on its way, and we just needed a few more weeks for it. But not gonna make it. This one looks like it is almost ready. This would have been one of those situations where the greenhouse had the potential to really shine with the temperatures not being well below freezing. It would have kept the temperatures just over freezing and would have given these plants a little bit more time to produce for us. But the only thing we're using the greenhouse for right now is growing some weeds. But look at this plantain. This is some nice plantain grown in here and dandelion. You know, only a permaculturalist would do this. <sighs> Though our pepper plants took a pretty hard hit, there's a lot of fruit on here still that I can harvest, so I'm gonna take care of that. Our tomatoes here also took a shellacking, but it looks like the fruit on this is still gonna be salvageable too. Looks like they have some nice tomatoes. These cherry tomatoes are the most flavorful and sweet cherry tomatoes I've ever eaten in my whole life. Everyone we've given these to has just raved about them. So this was a big success for us these, this year, these cherry tomatoes. Man, that's good. Then down here we have my tomatillos. I harvested a bunch of tomatillos a couple weeks ago. I made a nice green sauce out of it. And I'm gonna do that with what we have left here, but it's not looking too good. Check out our kale though. The kale, of course, being a cool season crop, they don't mind a bit with a little light frost. Then we got a bunch more tomatoes over there that are looking good. As some of you guys might remember from last year, our garden didn't work out so well in the fall. We had hundreds of tomatoes that were green right up to the frost. So the fact that we got several ripened now is pretty good. Our summer temperatures have been consistently warmer throughout the summer this year. Last year was a real cool rainy summer. This year's been hot and dry. So it's been better for the tomatoes, not as fun for me.
really gooey on the inside. Sticky. Pull it out. Yeah, I can't pull it. The tomatillo harvest is kind of disappointing. We didn't get a lot of tomatillos. The ones we did harvest were kind of small. Well, in order to make anything meaningful out of them, I'm going to have to supplement with some from the grocery, which is perfectly fine because we can get them. They're locally grown organic ones that we have get in the grocery, so that'll be fine. We got decent amount of tomatoes here. I'm pretty pleased with the pepper haul. We got a, a good amount of peppers here. And we had a lot more, but I've been eating them every day, harvesting them out of the garden. We've used a lot of them. It's been pretty, pretty good with the peppers. For the tomatoes, we're gonna mix these with some other tomatoes that we got from a local farmer and make a tomato sauce out of it. And then the peppers, we're gonna be doing a lacto-fermentation to preserve the peppers, because we can't eat all these peppers before they're gonna go bad, and we don't have a dehydrator yet. That's definitely on my list of things to acquire sometime, but for now, we're gonna lacto-ferment these peppers, which is gonna take some of the heat out, make it a little more palatable for a little buddy, and preserve them, as well as add some probiotic gut-boosting awesomeness to it. What do you think of those cherry tomatoes, little buddy? Yes, they were kind of good, but the inch one side were not good. Yeah, those pear tomatoes weren't very flavorful, but the cherry tomatoes were really good, weren't they? Yes. So what's your favorite, the cherry tomato or the peppers? Uh, cherry tomato. What do you think about the peppers? Um, spicy. Do you like them, though? No, too spicy. They're very spicy. And I don't like spicy. We hope to be getting out some videos regarding the tomato sauce making as well as the lacto fermented peppers. So stay tuned for that. Ashley's brother and mother are visiting from out of town. It's a blustery day, so we decided to take them down to the beach with little buddy to fly some kites.
no. Oh, <laughs> Daddy lost. Oh, where is the kite? In the tree. Crash landing. How's it going there? I gotta reel this slide back in. Yeah. How long is that? A couple hundred feet, probably? There's the kite. In a pine tree. Come loose. We shall see. Oh. Becca. The string broke and the kite is still in the tree. That is why we have two kites. That's exactly right. 